Vodheads and Streamheads, welcome back to part two of Jorn's adventure. Um, what I am referring to in the stream title as End Climber, but uh, not the VOD title because the... Actually, I could call this episode End Climber, but that really... Uh, I guess that mostly relies on if we actually finish this today or not. Uh, but yeah, we're back. Hello. We're back with a difficult game about climbing. This game sure is about climbing, and it sure is difficult. I'll tell you that much. Um, last time... Oh boy. Oh, last time... I may, I may have lost the sauce. Okay. It has been a few days. It has been a few days since I played. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to re regain our, our footing here for a more... I guess bearing, I guess footing doesn't really come into play in a difficult game about climbing. It's all the it's all in the hands, baby. Okay, okay, so I remember the basic maneuver. You just gotta actually do it. I will say, um, about a day after I think it plays the same as Rebirth. Okay, yeah, thank you. About a day after I last streamed this, um I off stream tried to practice a little bit to see if I could make it past where I failed last time. And it turns out it's actually not that bad. Um, it really is just a matter of doing it. So um, once we kind of once we kind of regain our, our muscle memory here, which I'm getting pretty close to doing already. Once we kind of regain our footing. I said footing again. I'm sorry about that. We're distracting you. I mean, a little bit, but but chat is always distracting me to some degree. There's always some amount of um necessary distraction that comes with Twitch chat, just by virtue of y'all being here and, and and talking and me having to look over so that I can respond and and be a good streamer. Oh shit! Getting very close. Not <laughs> just excited for the controller. Yeah, uh, so someone... I guess for, for brief context, Vodheads. Because I guess this is the bit now. Um, I have I have a throne account that I recently started. Uh, not like not like blatantly advertising. Because a lot of it is really just like super self-indulgent shit. Um, but I do allow gift suggestions on there for some reason. Uh, also, let's go. Um... And for some reason, someone suggested, uh, what is it? What's, what's the title again? I gotta, I gotta look one more time. Someone last night suggested I include Fisher Price, Laugh and Learn, Baby and Toddler, Toy Game and Learn Controller, Pretend Video Game with Music, Lights, and Activities. Um, so, uh, I mean, I did. It, it was, it was a very thoughtful suggestion. And uh, someone just bought it for me on stream, so thank you. I guess I know which uh, which controller I'm maining for for streams in the future now. Oh shit! Should <laughs> keep you distracted. I need I need no assistance being distracted. That's what I'm that's what I'm saying. I literally I get distracted by straw paper. Okay, it doesn't take a lot for me to be distracted. In fact, it's really, it's really the opposite. It takes a lot for me to focus. I, I risk uh, like a caffeine uh, overdose every single day because of the amount of coffee it takes for my brain chemicals to function at least somewhat normally. me something else what what's this hold on are we are we throne stream now a little oh sorry i was i was responding to the throne app just asked me how i enjoy the throne app it was like a little oh i think i think it was just i think it was wait Sorry, what is it? I'm trying. I'm trying to see what someone 
Someone got me something. I don't know what it is. Hold on. Oh, someone oh someone contributed to the chair. Thank you. I appreciate it. Chair donation. Let's fucking go. Oh yeah, there is a yeah, if if you weren't here, if you didn't see this last time, there is another wheel. Um, it's actually not uh quite as bad as the previous wheel, I think, personally. Someone contributed to 1% of the chair donation. Hey, I mean, I'll take it. I appreciate it. I like it's it's a chair I I do not need. I want to stress this enough. Um it's it's merely because I I really want to try a secret lab chair. But I couldn't I couldn't I, like no one does like secret lab rentals, you know. Um so like, you know, I just wanted to I wanted to throw that on there and be like, hey, if someone wants to get me like a comfy gaming chair alongside my newly repaired uh like ergonomic office chair, I'll take it. But no no pressure. It's literally just uh, you know, it's just there. Oop. Oh shit. I forgot how to do that part. It's just chair, that's right. <laughs> we actually uh, we actually just got junk removal um, here the other day, which has been super nice for just the vibes in the apartment. We have an issue uh, where we live in an apartment that has like, like a valet trash service that is sort of um, advertised as a convenience, but it is actually a nightmare. Um, and it actually like ruins our our daily lives <laughs> to, a, to a noticeable degree. Um, Cause it's advertised as a, it's advertised as, as a convenience, but one, it is not optional. It is included in rent payments just by default. You can't opt out of it. And two, because, you know, this place is designed to have, like, people come by and pick up trash from your doorstep as a, quote, convenience, there are no, like, accessible dumpsters. I think I've talked about this before. The only dumpster is, like, across the complex. Yeah. Um, like, what is, how, how long is a block? I would describe it as, like, a block away. Um, so, like, if we have, like, trash, if we end if we end up, like, missing a couple pickups or whatever, which happens very often, because we both have, like, well, I, I don't know if Joy claims this or not, but we both have, we both at least have, like, memory problems. I have mad ADHD, um, and Joy suspects that she has mad ADHD as well, so it's like we, you know, we occasionally, we, we, we miss a trash pickup every so often. Um, and so we often get, like, uh, like, trash bag build up, and, and they'll just be kind of sitting by the door, and it's like, we gotta get these out, like, soon, but, like, it's so inconvenient to, like, make a trip to the dumpster. Literally, if we had a dumpster, like, outside of our building, it would be so much easier to just go and drop them off, uh, when we need. Um, but we have to, like abide by like a specific pickup schedule and also very specific like pickup rules like you can only have two bags they have to be under a certain size like it's it's kind of a nightmare um so anyway all that to say uh this leads to a lot of um like cardboard buildup as well we get a lot of like packages and so uh we end up like just having a bunch of like stray cardboard so it's always nice when occasionally I am able to afford to get like a like a junk removal uh pickup over here, cause like they just they just take it all at once. It's kind of it's kinda of sick. Whoop. So we just we uh we were just able to do that. Um so the apartment is feeling rather nice. 
cardboard buildup is absolutely the worst. Yeah, that is literally like the single reason why I was not able to get into um, like meal, uh, like meal planning slash delivery services. Like I tried Blue Apron years ago. And in theory, in theory, it was very helpful. Because, you know, they have all just like the, the recipes and it's pre-portioned pre ingredients and whatnot. Um, but like, it was so much trash by the end of it. It was just these big boxes that I didn't know what to do with because I was in an apartment where I couldn't just go and like, I couldn't just walk outside and dump them. If I wanted to take them somewhere, I had to like get in my car. And like, you know, when you have executive dysfunction issues like I do, it's like a small hindrance like that can feel like a damn mountain, which is very thematically appropriate right now, I think. Also, when you buy something, but you want to keep the box in case there's some fault with the product. Yeah. I honestly, I, genuinely, I just don't, I don't return a lot of things. I kind of just put up with what I, with what I got. <laughs> uh, and then I'll often like, I'll often just either like give them to someone else when I'm, when I'm done or whatever, or I'll like, depending on what it is, I'll just toss it. Um, which is maybe not a super great way to do things, but that's just kind of how I've done it. Um, but I, because I'm like that, because I don't return a lot of things, I just kind of, I just kind of try to get rid of packaging. I like, like to this day, I have never really had a situation where I pulled out the box for like an old device or something. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad I have this, you know? It's always like, man, I got to get rid of this. I like, I'm never going to use this again. I always break the boxes down and pack them all into a larger box until it's too full to pack more. Literally, um, that is what we have decided we're going to start doing. Uh, cause we, we, we need like a system, I think. Cause I can't keep, honestly, I cannot keep paying for junk removal to come by and just get rid of all of our cardboard. Um, as convenient as it is and as nice as it feels after in terms of like the environment doesn't feel so nice on the on the on the wallet i will say so um <clears throat> i was like what we need to do is we need to have like a bin or a box or something that is big enough to where we won't have to do this very often but we need to have a specific place we put any like cardboard packaging or whatever and then um we once it's full we take that as like okay it's full now let's break everything down and then take it out like as soon as we can um and we we do not add anything on top of it so i'm hoping we can set something like that up and and work it out because that does seem like probably our best bet just like just that we have because the way we've been doing it is we just kind of leave cardboard wherever not not wherever it's opened but wherever it's most convenient for it to be after it is opened on an individual basis and i feel like what we need is a specific place for all of it to go as like one accumulative spot so that we can visualize like one how long it's been since we last got rid of it and two like how how much is there and so that we have like kind of like a like an hourglass of when this needs to go out you know what i mean Idea, start a garden and have a cardboard patch to grow various types of fungus. I did not finish reading that sentence before I started reading it out loud, just so you know. <laughs> so figure in the shape of an hourglass, you say? People on Twitter be like, uh, hear me out. <laughs>
points at a conventionally attractive woman. Hear me out. Hear me out on this one, guys. Wood. <laughs> Twitter will see a VeggieTales apple and say, hear me out. Now, hold on. This feels targeted. God damn. Okay. I'm not, I'm honestly, I'm not stressing. This is kind of a great vibe right now. I just got a notification saying someone suggested a new gift and I'm literally scared to look at it. I don't know. I don't know if people, <laughs> I don't know if this is a let's one up the bit kind of kind of suggestion or if this is a just a normal one. I feel like people mainly use gift suggestions to make jokes now. And so I'm I'm like, hmm. It could be anything. It's uh, right now we are dealing with Schrodinger's gift suggestion. It is both normal and weird until it is observed. Oh, here we go. I'm getting the sauce back is the thing. The Vision Price controller isn't a joke, it's a reality. I mean, yeah, but it's only a reality because I allowed it to be. I, I, listen, I could have denied it. Which doesn't really, I don't actually know if that's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, well, let's, let's not, let's not attribute a, like a moralization to it. I just don't know what it says about me. Let's, hold on. Am I? Hold on. I need, like, I need momentum. Whoa. God damn it, that's not it. <laughs> Let's moralize everything. Ketchup and Joyos do not interact. You gotta leave the stream, I'm sorry. You're speaking to a ketchup enjoyer. Fisher Price controller is immoral. <laughs> That's not what that means, Alexa, no! <laughs> Im immoral implies negative morality. It's, uh, it's, it's... It's simply not moral. Unless that's what you meant, in which case, I don't know if I can agree. Yeah. I'll put my foot down on this. I don't care. It is morale. You mean like what uh, jobs have? It is bad, a type of sin. Um, if it's a sin to grow up to be so smart and cool and, like, have, like, great hand-eye coordination because you played so much with your Fisher-Price baby and toddler controller with light sounds and activities or whatever it's called, then, um, you know, we need to start... I mean, let's just, let's just open the church doors right now. We got some work to do. <laughs> False idol. It does have like a weird face on it. Address the Fisher Price Laugh and Learn Baby and Toddler Toy Game and Learn Controller Pretend Video Game with Music Lights and Activities by its full name. You are disrespecting it. If it didn't want to be disrespected, maybe it should have picked a better fucking name.
Fisher Price Stream Deck. Okay. So you said Stream Deck? I first read that as Steam Deck, and it made me think, how hard would it go? How awesome would it be to have a a Steam Deck skin that made your Steam Deck aesthetically look like the Fisher Price Laugh and Learn Baby and Toddler Toy Game and Learn Controller Pretend Video Game with music, lights, and activities. That like that's power. <laughs> Wait, the I don't know. people people are accurate acronym acronymizing it, and I don't know if I want to read it out. Wait, let me let me vet this. The the fall the fall bat gal. I, I can't. I can't do it. It's it's hard. It's harder to say than the Flimstum defer. The Flimstum defer. <laughs> Doing a Messiah variety. <laughs> oh, I gotta watch those movies. It's all the rage right now, and I, I still have no clue what anyone's talking about. I feel like uh, Kari in The Incredibles. When she didn't listen to, to Mozart. Yeah. You have a lot of patience. If I was playing this game, I would have started saying terrible things about the main character's bloodline at this point. Yeah, I I I have like a like a an amount of patience for these games that they that they do not deserve because I actively enjoy playing them and I I don't know why. It's something fundamentally broken in me. Fuck. There we go. I, I genuinely really think it's like, I, I've said it a million times. I genuinely think it is because I grew up playing Roblox obbies and like just obsessing over Roblox obbies. I, I love Roblox obbies so much. That was like my favorite thing to play. Yeah, this one's, this one's still a toughie. I don't know why. No, oh, I can't can't yeah. land that one. I did it pretty easily last yeah. time I tried this, but it has been a few days. Maybe I ought to um, up the sensitivity just a little bit. More. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling some, there's some power behind that now. Oh yeah. Well, When in doubt, change the sensitivity. I mean, it's actually like, it's genuinely, it's made a difference. I feel like different parts of this game benefit from different uh, sensitivity levels. Like, I feel like, I feel like the early game um, goes really hard with like a super high sensitivity level. But then, you know, you get to, you get to wet world, which requires a lot more finessing. You can easily make a mistake if you if you grab onto the waterfall. Yeah. If your sensitivity is too high. Oh, shit. <laughs> Seeing of obvious this would be a good you laugh, you lose game. Interesting point. Would you like intentionally sabotage yourself to go back to the very beginning? If you laugh? I could see that. It's kind of just the exact same concept. Oh, but I mean, like, I feel like that would be kind of, uh, kind of automatic. There's an automatic punishment built in, because, like, if you laugh, you are likely to lose, because this game requires so much, like, concentration. You're already likely to fall. Am I coming at this from the right? I feel like I'm maybe not coming at this from the right angle, and that's part of the problem. No, it's the right angle. I just need to time it correctly. I 
I did you a Roblox obby, you laugh, you lose. You're saying that Roblox obbies are too easy? Yes. If you laugh, you let go. That's that's pretty good, actually. I like that. Yeah, because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you are. You just release all control. You laugh, you lose, you die, perhaps. Isn't that just uh, a quiet place? Never seen that movie. Could be wrong. You laugh, you learn. Stop! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. Let it go. Get a new bit. Put me in a better spot, I think. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Worst spot. Worst spot yet. <sighs> new new suggestion, I think. I like I I wanna look, but I don't. Come on, go down. This, go this way. Go this way. For science, who's your favorite pony? Applejack and Pinkie Pie. Um, lately, it's been more Applejack, but I grew up loving Pinkie Pie to an unmatched degree. So she will always be extremely special to me. And I kind, I kind of consider them on equal footing nowadays. I think I'm past my initial, like, Applejack, like, fresh obsession. And I, I still think she is my favorite nowadays as an adult, ever so slightly. But I still, man, I love Pinkie Pie so much. So, take that as you will. AJ is everything. You're so, you're so true. Said it before, I'll say it again. Just as a reminder, Applejack is the pony for grown-ups. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, not yet. Okay. Hmm. Watch a Gen 3 as a kid? No, I missed out. I was more into like the Barbie movies and stuff as a kid. Um, but I I really want to catch up with Gen 3. Please do not hit the water. Not now at least. Okay. Oh, come on, man. What's your favorite Barbie movie? The Princess and the Popper. Absolutely without question. Probably Prince and the Popper, you seem like the type. How did you know? You read me like a book. That is, that's so funny. How on earth? What, what gives you that impression? Is it the, is it the, the undeniable percentage of theater kid in, in my bones that I, that I try to deny every single day, but fail so, so deftly at? It is, that makes sense, yeah. Yep. I can see it when you're feeling low, you can't hide that from me. You're no status quo calico, so I keep trying to be. Cause you're more than that. You're a doggish cat. 
I wish you could see the you I see. Can you fail deftly? I think I think those are antonyms, but I really I liked saying it that way because I feel like having those two term ter having those two terms juxtaposed in that way uh, was really fun imagery. Penny Barbie watch party when? So I feel like eventually we're definitely gonna watch a Barbie movie for movie night in the server. But I want it to be <laughs> I want it to be after we've watched some like grown-up movies. <laughs> Cause I feel like I feel like it's been it's been an interesting vibe in the in the 18 and up server that I've just been watching like The Incredibles and Ratatouille and Spider-Man and, and shit like that because I just I just like these things. I just really like these things and I like sharing them with people. But like, I'm like, we got to watch like, I don't know. <laughs> we got to watch like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind or something. <laughs> Fuck. Not the Exorcist, no. I couldn't. I've, I've I've never seen the Exorcist. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I ever will. It's a very specific. I I just I can't do like. I I I grew up very religious, so like demonic horror like really fucks with my brain. Gives me bad anxiety. Can we watch The Godfather? I'll consider it. I've I've never seen The Godfather actually. That that would that would genuinely be a I have never seen this. Let's watch it together kind of movie night. I like so the problem is that like The server is 18 plus, so like I, I have like an inclination to watch like more mature movies and stuff occasionally, or like like I like I have I have an internal allowance to consider watching more mature films, but also we do have like a no like NSFW no like nudity rule, and I'm like, would it be weird if I like showed a movie that? that potentially featured content that was technically against server rules even if it was like in an artistic context I feel like it would be it wouldn't be the best look right but I don't know I don't think anyone would like tell on me for it <laughs> but also it's something I consider because I wanted to watch like I don't know I think I wanted to watch like uh like, what was it, Poor Things? Or something like that? Like a recent movie that I still have yet to see, but I've really been meaning to. And then I was like, oh, but this movie has like nudity and stuff in it. And I'm like, I don't mind that. And I'm pretty sure people in the server do not mind that. But also, would that be the vibe? I don't know. Poor Things has a lot of sex. I gotta watch that soon then <laughs> I actually I do just really want to watch poor things I I keep it's it's crazy that I haven't watched it yet because I am insane about Emma Stone <laughs> oh mama <laughs> that was a joke by the way I, I feel like I didn't deliver that in as sort of like facetious as a tone as I meant to. I'm very focused right now. I have not seen Alien, no. I started watching it a couple years ago, but I just never never finished it. I got distracted. Well, there's a lot of stuff I haven't seen. There's a, there's a, there's a huge backlog. Scott, what? I gotta see this runs to a wall. Runs directly into traffic. I, I don't think Alien 2 is considered the better one. No, yeah, I think you're thinking of Terminator. Woo! 
All right. Chat, this is the one. I shouldn't say that. What did I say? Come on. Oh, shit! Actually was the one. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Okay. I gotta turn the sensitivity back down a little bit. Just a tad. Okay. Actually correctly called it. I cannot believe it. All right. So it is totally possible to do this without jumps. Um, It's really hard and it's a very tight window, but it is possible. Oh, boy. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Please. <laughs> Stop. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop. I'm sorry. You know, I actually find these games rather relaxing. Huh. Okay. Huh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. This part, this part is, this part is ripped tonight for me. Oh my god. The exact antithesis of everything I like about these games. Okay. All right. Doing good. We're doing good. Grab onto that. Get a good grip on that. Okay. All right. So it is possible. Oh boy. It's possible to. That's okay. It is po it is possible to grab that one while reaching from the uh, from the rock. I did it off stream. I did it off stream. So I know it's possible. It's just a matter of doing it. It's okay. We'll get back to it. Yeah. It's not it's not a major upset. Thankfully, this checkpoint is extremely generous. As they know, this part is a nightmare. Oh, shoot. I gotta keep an eye on the clock. Uh, it's 11.30 right now. Um, straight up. If I, um, if I do, if I am not aware of the time in like, uh, like 20 minutes, like around like 11, 11.50, uh, please remind me to check the clock. I need to be, I need to be on the website to pre-order Dawn Trail at 12. Yeah. To limited copies. I don't know. I don't think so. They they don't describe the collector's box as limited edition, but it seems like the kind of thing that would be limited edition. Lamal, I thought it was something serious. It is serious! Uh, it's so serious. What are you talking about? They only made two. So it's got to be me and Greg. Yeah, Dawn Trail's the new FF14 expansion. Yeah. I will be purchasing it, and it will be my first, hopefully my first collector's edition purchase, uh, or the collector's edition box, because they, they have a digital collector's edition for every expansion. Um, and I always get those, but um, I've never gotten the one with like the physical bonuses. And I would like to. 
seems cool. Yeah. Oh man, that was a close one. They finally have cat women in the game. Yeah, they have the real cat women. Not these fucking uh neon neko sugar girls. They got real honest to god <laughs> red-blooded cat cat women. They got real god fear and cat women, not these cat girls. Oh. <laughs> they got they got lionesses in this game. Finally. Oh. Are those bunny girls from Final Fantasy XII are they in it? Those are those are Viera, and yes, they actually are. They've been they've been a playable race since uh, Shadowbringers, and there's also a male variant now, as of Endwalker. And let me tell you, people love the male Viera. They got bunny boys. Are you people, Penny? Um, no, no. I mean, I, I like, I like Milvira. I'm just not like, I'm not crazy about them. But that's just because I'm gay. So, I definitely, I definitely go more for the, the, the Femvira because, uh, you know, they got stuff going on. Check the website. I know for a fact pre-orders are already up where I am. Yeah. Well, it depends on your region. Uh, are you in North America? They, uh, they, they did like a 9 a.m. global release for other regions, and then for North America, or at least for the U.S., they're doing, um, 9 a.m. Pacific. Specifically? Pacifically? Um... Steam is also global. Yeah, I'm yeah, but I'm not getting the Steam version, so I'm I'm going off of the Square Enix store because that's the because for some reason you can't you can't connect your Square Enix PC version to Steam. Uh, it's one or the other. They are completely incompatible with one another for some strange reason. Even even though you can you can have your PS5. And PC account be the same, even Xbox. But um, PC, you gotta play either Steam or you get the Square Enix version. I really wish, honestly, I had gotten the Steam version back in the day, but you know, I made my bed. And now I have over like 2,000 plus hours in the game over the course of like three years. So can't, can't give up now. <laughs> But you could have both, but you need to purchase the license. No, well, there, there's, they will have to be separate accounts. You can't, you can't have Steam connected to your Square Enix account, um, for some reason. Genuine. Oh, oh, why did I let go? Oh my god, I got so nervous. I got so nervous, I let go. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know what system limitation causes that to be the case, but. the hard part so casually this time the honestly the hard part yeah the hard part is the wheel and and these freaking lanterns uh but i i was honestly i was internally i was kind of impressed with how smoothly i did that wheel section i just i was talking about my game so i didn't want to acknowledge it yep. 
when in doubt, blame the consoles. No, but the, the consoles are... The consoles are the ones that work <laughs> with the system. Oh, I've, oh yeah, I've I've made um, I've made multiple accounts for FF11. That process is is a gauntlet. It's it's like a game in its own right, but it's like the worst puzzle game you've ever played. It's like Hypnospace Outlaw if it wasn't good. I, I'm getting, you know what, I'm really, um, I'm really, I, I keep accidentally letting go of the buttons that are my, my grip buttons. I don't know why that just started happening. I keep getting so turned around. I probably, I probably could really use this upcoming, uh, pre-order break. Just kind of reset my, my energy a little bit. Because I, I have the muscle memory back for the most part. So now it's really just a, it's a focus thing. I need to not be like tilted. Exclamation point lasagna. Thank you so much for blessing the chat with uh, Marie Schrader saying she'll heat up some lasagna. Here we go. Oh, I timed that battle wrong. In no space, love that game. Why was it brought up? Uh, it was, I was alluding to the process of trying to make an account for Final Fantasy XI, which if you don't know is, um, it's an MMO that came out on the PS2 and is obviously no longer like running servers on the PS2, but the PC version is still up and running officially and you can, you can play it. They still maintain that game on PC, um, but it's a very, very old MMO, and it uses a, like, sort of, uh, it uses a proprietary, like, interface, like, account system called Play Online. Um, and it's, like, extremely difficult to parse, like, how to create an account, because you need, like like three different passwords and like two different like usernames or whatever like it's crazy the amount of hoops you have to jump through in order to make an account to play ff11 through the official launcher and through official servers um and a lot of it involves navigating a like virtual desktop uh <laughs> that like features just a lot of like the boxes where you enter in your info and stuff but it's like it's it's stylized like a virtual desktop much like hypnospace it's it's insane it's it's crazy it does still require a subscription yeah i don't i don't i don't mind MMOs having subscriptions. I'm gonna be honest. I think I honestly, this might be crazy. I am pro subscriptions for MMOs. I have I have experienced many MMOs in my life of both varieties, and every subscription MMO I have tried is like noticeably more well maintained. <laughs> As a result of the subscription, I assume. Uh, free MMOs always just kind of felt wrong to me. Not not wrong, but like that like it's there there you you feel a difference for sure. I like their I, I like how FF14 does it, where you can play that game for free for literally like hundreds, if not thousands, of hours. Because they just keep rolling in uh, older expansions that are like more than like four or five years old into the free version of the game. So like free players are still getting new content. It's just on like a delay. Um, but like they keep adding new expansions to the trial. 
I I will yeah I will say I am I'm pro subscription at minimum I am pro like purchase the MMO like Guild Wars Guild Wars 2 I think is a really good example of how something can still be maintained without a sub um, Guild Wars 2 is a great example because uh, you just you just buy the expansions you buy the base game and it's it's good they do have a lot more of a blatant um, like cash shop implementation. Um, and it's a little bit more in your face than something like FF14. But then again, World of Warcraft is the same way, and that's a sub-MMO, but also that is Blizzard, which I feel like is kind of, it's like a Spider's George situation, where it's like, you know, Blitter Blizzard is an outlier and should not be, should not be counted. <laughs> Cause Blizzard is gonna, Blizzard's gonna come for your wallet, regardless. Guild Wars 2 is great though. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I think I'm. I'm sh I'm sure it's not fully necessary, but also, just based off of anecdotal evidence, I'm kind of pro subscription. Destiny One was the dream. I never played Destiny One. Do Do people have nostalgia for Destiny One? I guess so. I was always under the impression that it was kind of not super well received, honestly. Maybe like middling. But then again, I could have just been kind of watching the wrong people. I definitely, yeah, I definitely will very happily believe that the the monetization and the release model of Destiny 1 was better than 2, because holy shit, Destiny 2 is an ordeal. I have tried so many times to get the Destiny 2, and often with some amount of success. Um, genuinely, I've had many, many fun hours playing Destiny 2. Uh, I've had I've had moments where I'll play it for like a couple months and like just have a great time. Um, but the problem is that one, the easiest way of like onboarding into the game with that being the release campaign. Um, and like that whole like new player experience, they just got rid of it, which is crazy to me. Um, and they st they still haven't added it back. They got rid of that along. Didn't they get rid of like a whole expansion's worth of content alongside it? Like it's crazy that they just got rid of that shit. And now like. They were like, we're improving the new player experience, and they did not improve it. <laughs> it's like, now it like it genuinely is like more confusing than it's ever been to get into that game. Okay, hold on. They got Vault of Glass. Everyone loves Vault of Glass. I don't know what that is. That scares me. Okay. We're so close to end, uh, not, sorry, not end walker time, dawn trail time. Let's see if we can make this happen. Not gonna panic. Just gonna get it done. There we go. Okay. It is. It's uh, the the amount of grip you lose so easily on that rock is is really something else. This has to be. If there is a choke point in this game that is more difficult than this, I really fear for our ability to get past it. It's the pirate expansion. I, it's not really the pirate expansion. It's got it's it's like it's got like kind of a it's it's a very adventurous vibe. Everyone thought it was going to be pirates, but um because the new job was very much implied to be kind of piratey and like it has a bit of a pirate aesthetic at first glance. Um but it's more like it's more just like general like adventurous. The the new job is not really a a pirate job. Yeah, everyone thought it was going to be corsair. Uh, which I will say I kind of I kind of feel a little sad about. I, I do wish we got just like a straight up pirate job. That would be so cool. 
But I mean, I mean, pirates are already in the game is the thing. Like, pirates are in A Realm Reborn and, you know, I, I, they have like some level of lore behind them. So it would have to be some kind of like not pirate who like has the aesthetic of what we know as a pirate, but isn't actually called a pirate in game. So that's a whole thing. Is Tantra going to add support for the... I'm not doing that acronym. I'm just going to call it the Fisher Price Controller. Uh, you know what? I really hope so, because that's... I mean, how else am I going to play? I wish it was Corsair. They had a gambling mechanic in FF11. Damn, we need gambling. <laughs> we need gambling in FF14. You know what? Maybe um, maybe we'll finally get gambling in FF14 uh, as a job when, when they uh, when they finally implement the FF7 remake series crossover once that series is done. Because then you know. Aerith will be involved, and we know how she feels about gambling. They do have gambling, though, is the thing. But it's 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 great because in Final Fantasy XIV, it's gambling that you literally cannot lose at. Every amount of gambling you do in the Gold Saucer is always going to like net you a profit. It's there. There is literally no lose state for any of the like cacked pot mini games yes. in uh in gold saucer which is great i love that i re i really love that you can do you can do like the scratch tickets every week um and it it all you always get more mgp back than you put into it always there's like the lowest reward is always more than it costs to enter Yeah, yeah, the only the only ways you can really lose on 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 like a on like a gambling payout situation is triple triad, yeah, or um like I don't know. Something else. <laughs> I have finished I have not finished rebirth. No, I I'm hoping to finish it god, maybe like next week. Um basically the next like 3 streams are going to be all FF7 rebirth. So uh, well, actually, oh shit! Now that I now that I think of it, I may have um I may have miscalculated my schedule. I think yesterday I mentioned that Saturday was likely going to be a pretty special stream, depending on it if I am streaming my perspective of this collab. Um, that's not true. I think it's actually on Friday. I totally got my dates mixed up. So I think the next like two streams are going to be FF7, and maybe we'll have a break one. And then if I want to stream on Saturday, if I have the spoons to stream on Saturday, after all this, um, that would probably be the third FF7. Oh shit, yeah, it's... It's it's clock check time. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, Vodheads, I'm gonna pause here while I get this uh, situation sorted. Wish me luck. I'll be right back. Vodheads, we're back, and I um I do not have good news. <laughs> the Square Enix store page with which uh one would pre-purchase Dawn Trail and the Collector's Edition items is entirely busted due to how popular this video game has become. I tried, or I want to say maybe like 30, 30 minutes plus, I think, if, if we're counting, um, to pre-purchase the Collector's Edition with no luck. The, the website is still broken, so... It has been long enough. I am just going to let it sit. If I 
end a stream or I hit another break and I am not able to get the physical edition of this video game, that is okay. I'm giving it to whatever goddess holds my fate in her hands. I'm just gonna let that be what it is. I'm giving I'm giving it to what is it what's what's my what's my deity in FF14 right now? Is it Nafika? I think it's Nafika. I'm giving it to Nafika. Just letting it be what it is. I don't think it's meant I don't think it's meant to be it's probably Nafika, yeah, because you know. She's got um She's got a lot of uh let's just say uh, oh god, how do I say this? <laughs> yeah, she listen. I was trying I was trying to do like a fun little euphemism, but I realized every euphemism I could come up with sounded really gross. <laughs> and like not at all the vibe I wanted to. So I'll just say she has like big naturals. <laughs> And also, she's a pretty cool character, too. And the lore is great, and obviously, um, you know, the storyline, and... It's- it's for the plot, you know? No, she's gorgeous, truly, yeah. I, well, I may have lost it. I- you know, I've been, I went through this- I went through this gauntlet. And now, um... All of my, all of my skill has been wiped clean. This is not true. I think I've seen her on Twitter. Oh, I, I imagine you've seen her on Twitter. I would be surprised if you hadn't. Azima too, who, whose earrings will soon be adorning my, whose, whose earrings will still be, will soon be adorning my character. Um, in order to help level Ictomancer and Viper from 80 to 90. When when Dawn Trail comes out, this will be the first time. I mean, it'll be my it'll only be my second uh yeah. expansion release, so you know, I've only had two chances for this to happen. Um But as opposed to what I did during Endwalker, which was play the MSQ obsessively right away, nonstop. Um, almost, like, doing nothing else until I was done with it. Um, unlike, unlike Endwalker, this time, the first thing I'm going to do for Dawn Trail is level up, uh, Pictomancer. Maybe Viper as well, if the leveling is quick enough with the earrings and with, you know, current, uh, leveling strats. Um, 80 to 90 can be a bit of an ordeal, but... We'll see. Um, there are at least a lot of options now. You can do, you can do Bosja. You can do uh, Eureka Orthos, which is nice. That's a pretty recent one. Obviously, just doing dungeons is like a pretty decent way to get it done pretty quickly. Um, so I'm hoping I should be able to level Pictomancer in about a day, maybe two, before I start on the story. So I will probably stream that before streaming the MSQ. Um, streaming it is gonna be kind of scary because um, I don't want people spoiling. So I might I might go full like super uh, super duper followers only mode or even like emote only mode in certain cases, which I don't like doing very often. But I care a lot about this game. I do not I do not want people ruining the show for me. This this will be my first time like heavily streaming an expansion release. So um it's a very it's something I want to consider because I, I will say, obviously as much as I love streaming, y'all are really, really great 99.9% .9 of the time. I promise you. Um I really am just like kind of proud of the community I've, like, cultivated for the most part. Um, however, sometimes people get a little backseaty. Sometimes people get a little spoilery. Sometimes bad actors come in and, you know, just do some do some crazy shit. Um, so, I don't want that to potentially 
ruin an, ex a, an experience that I would have otherwise really enjoyed. Because sometimes, though I love streaming, sometimes it can negatively affect my experience with a game in certain ways. There's also a lot of exclusive, like, positives you get from streaming a game. Uh, like being able to share reactions and, you know, like running jokes and stuff. That's always like a real positive. That always really heightens my experience with the game. But there are also the parts that uh, are better alone. But sometimes you gotta try it. You gotta try it just to see if it's for you. If I stream Dawn Trail and I decide ultimately that it was the wrong idea, at least I'll have tried it. At least I'll know. But I do wanna, I do wanna put my best foot forward and make sure that we're mitigating that possibility as much as as much as possible. Whoop. 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 Okay. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Hold on. Let's fucking go. Getting pretty good at that, honestly. Oh, but now it's scary. Okay. We got ourselves a, wee, a, a real wee wee yippee kind of moment here. Be advised. All right, sorry. Got real scared. Nice. I honestly, I gotta play just like a just like a nice session of getting over it after I beat this game, just as a palate cleanser, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's let's let them calm down. The more I try and fail, I'm realizing the harder it makes it because you get them like swinging around like that. You notice? Okay. Chill out. All right, nice, okay. Let me get just like a good grip right here that isn't gonna immediately Oh boy. No! God damn it! Uh, okay. You can, you really can, like, reach over and grab that without letting go of the left. I've done it, I promise. I'm not a fibbing liar. Are you a lying fiver? No, I'm not. I promise. <laughs> Wink. <Yep>. Woohoo! <laughs> oh. oh, the scuttle is back. The scuttle might be back. We might be reintroducing some whimsy into our heart and our lives. Hold on. Hey, I know you always talk about loving Roblox hobbies. Do you have any interest in those 3D platformer rage games like Only Up? Um, I honestly did have a passing interest in Only Up until it it got kind of weirdly dubious with like all the. Wasn't there like a lot of like weird like NFT crypto shit with that game? I don't know. I kind of just like kind of lost interest in that one. There was like some weird stuff with it. I think if I remember correctly. Um, but in concept, yeah, I'm a. Uh, I'm very into that kind of stuff. Just not that game specifically. I, I didn't really... I didn't hop on the trend before it got a little dubious, so... I missed out on that. But yeah, in, in theory, if you got any more... It, listen, 
I am genuinely, I know I'm I'm very often adamant about um, not being open to game suggestions, and for the most part, that's true. I will say, in this case specifically, let me know of any like game like this. <laughs> let me know about it. I want I want to know about these. I love these. And it's probably a no-brainer, but do you plan to platinum FF7 Rebirth after the Let's Play, and how soon do you think you'll be doing it? Um, that's a good question. So, yes, I do plan to platinum it. Um, and honestly, I would not be surprised if we get really, really close to platinuming it on stream. However, it is kind of impossible for me to platinum it on stream um, during this playthrough. Because one of the trophies is to beat the game on hard. Um, I checked. And unfortunately, I did not have hard difficulty unlocked. Because you only unlock that after beating the game once. So, I have to do another playthrough of it in order to platinum it, basically. Um, and since I will not be streaming a full playthrough a second time, um, I won't... I won't be able to platinum it on stream, but I will be platinuming it. I feel like maybe I could do a quick little check-in on some other stream. Maybe like at the last moment, have like a checkpoint where I boot it up on stream and then, and then you know, finish it and pop the trophy on stream if I really wanted to capture that. But um, I'm not promising that. But I, I will get as many trophies as I can within reason. I will say, I am leaning towards focusing more on finishing the game within the next couple of weeks rather than being as thorough on stream as I started, um, which is why I've started allowing myself to do a lot more off stream. Um, like genuinely most of the side content is now uh, up for grabs off stream. And in fact, in, uh, in the Kungaga region, I have already done everything off stream except for the actual um, uh, summon fight in the combat simulator, as well as the secret uh, world intel battle that you get for getting all of the live stream points. Um, as well as the side quests. Si side quests, like the story missions, are also off limits. Still. But yeah, everything else I've done. I had that one. I don't know why that happened. We really have been at this bit for three hours, huh? It's okay. I'm sure there was kind of an equivalent moment last stream, too. Before we got here. Probably Wet World, if I had to, if I had to guess. That whole initial stretch. Uh, Sonic Heart, please do not post random YouTube links in chat. I will not click them. <laughs> yeah, you know what we? D yeah, we did. We did spend an hour pre-ordering Dawn Trail. Never mind. It's not that bad. Just been here for a little bit. There we go. Okay. Been slowly getting better at this bit, which is nice. Okay. It's good. Not quite. It wasn't the one. That's okay. It wasn't ordained. We can deal with that. FF14 Twitter account said they're aware of the technical difficulties like 40 minutes ago. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> Good to know we're on the same page. I'm, 
I'm sure they're working on it. I'm I am sure they are doing literally everything they can. Let's not uh Let's not blame the social media managers for not having the perfect messaging. I think they shouldn't. Yeah, just just leave everybody in the trenches. Hey, you know what? Yoshi P was talking about how he wants the game to be stressful again. We should have seen this coming, really. He said it. Oh boy. Blah. Blah. Let me try again. I'm putting in Oh shit. Oh my god, I just made it to, I just made it to checkout. Oh my god. Wait. Do I dare try logging in? Please solve this puzzle. So <laughs> pick the grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Boy. Login is busted. Oh no. Yeah, I'm star I'm starting to see that. Darn. Well, I mean, should I? Well, listen, it's a physical item. I can maybe just check out as guest. Because this won't... This won't keep me from getting the in-game stuff. Cool. Okay, so I'll just... I'll just wait. I'll just get the in-game stuff on my account later. But your points! <laughs> I don't care about the points. I want my box. Make sure all this is right. Okay. Continue. Filling. Chat, can you let me know if uh, my credit card sounds correct? Four. What's the funny number on the back? Six. Hundred. Six hundred. You need six hundred to pass. You have six. Okay. Let's try. Let's try placing this order. Fingers crossed. Please. Let's go! I got the confirmation page. Okay. That's a box? That's a box. Let me see. Did I get the email? In my email address? I did. Let's go. I have an order number. Oh my god. Fucking finally. Okay. Let me try while we're on this winning streak. Let me try logging in again and see if I can get the digital version now. Yeah, I think mostly login is is like busted right now. At least I was able to get the physical stuff. Yeah, the login is just not the login is just not happening. Wait, hold on. Yeah, okay. 
Logan's Logan's particularly broken. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh my god, what a what a relief. I feel so empowered. I feel like I can do anything. Let's go. <laughs> Wait. I feel like I can do anything. Let's go. Yeah. Shit, hold on. I'm so empowered. I can do anything I want. Wait, hold on. I'm so powerful. I can do anything I want. In the name of the moon, I'll hunt you. That's me when I, you know, I climb it. Shit. Well, all right, well, all, all my power is gone. We had a little bit of momentum. In terms of energy, but wasn't really, wasn't really working out. Whoa! Here we go. Definitely failed my liege. I, I keep, I keep, I can't think for some reason. Whenever I hear my liege now, I only think about. Uh, Wayne Radio TV's recent Dragon's Dogma 2 stream um, with the Minotaur <laughs> and Derek, uh, which is like one of the funniest things I've seen happen on any stream in a while. <laughs> the Minotaur! The Minotaur! Derek! The fucking like blood curdling <laughs> scream. <laughs> so funny. Highly recommend checking out that clip when you get the chance. <laughs> oh yeah, I know about Wayne's experience with this part of of, of this game. Uh, it was it was a common point of uh, conversation last stream. Yeah, it, it, it was this part specifically, yeah. With the lanterns and everything. Holy moly. Oh, still here. <laughs> yep, still here. Still here, indeed. <laughs> Honestly, this part isn't even, like... This part isn't even the problem for me anymore. It's really, like, it's the wheel. Well, it's, it's, it's the jump from this rock to the wheel. And then also, it's the, it's the lanterns. The lanterns are a nightmare. <laughs> you're, you're good, Ukaku. It's fine. I was not offended. You're good. No worries. I thought it was funny. Here we go. Hey! Look at that! That was pretty smooth. Okay. Okay. This is really... This is where shit hits the fan every time. Okay, calm down. Oh, yeah, but I'm so scared. I know, I know. Holy moly. Here, grab on, grab on closer, like right. Like right here, but with some, some grip to it. Okay, calm down. Hey, calm down. Stop. Stop. Calm down. Stop. Hmm? 
Okay. Holy shit. Okay. Um. This is where this is where I get I get God every time. My god, okay. So we there's a couple ways we could do this. We could maybe go the like the jump route. But I don't know if that's reliable. I feel like the way honestly, okay, hold on, wait. I feel like the way we want to do this, actually. I feel like it's a similar situation with maybe the um with like the the girdle. We get this thing, oh no. We get this thing shaking like nobody's business. And then take that opportunity to reach out. Oh. Could do a jump. I told you it was possible. Oh my god. I told you. Okay. I've gotten this far. Ah! Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh no, this is a real. This is so precarious. Are you kidding me? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, new PB, new PB. We're okay? We're okay? You son of a- You son of a bitch! That is so- That's insane! That's crazy! What? <laughs> Oh, it's happening, finally. Oh, it's like really getting under my skin now. Okay. I understand. Listen. I'm still here for it. I to I totally get it now. I get why this bit is like... Like, th this is the point where people are like, actually the game's back. I get it. Okay. Here's the thing though. We performed the rest of this with enough proficiency last time that I'm not too worried about our chances of getting up to that point again. In fact, that was almost the one. The guys straight up let go. I know, it's... Oh, the grip strength. Difficult game about climbing grip strength update when? Did getting over it have anything like this? Well, I mean, like, honestly, I don't think so. Not to this degree, no. It's like, this game has a real, this game has a real downside in terms of like, this dude's grip strength. Because here's the thing, I feel like there should never be a case where I am holding the grip button and he lets go anyway. I feel like that is kind of an insane mechanic. It genuinely, like, it approach. I get why, because obviously he slips sliding around, and I get the whole point is that it's supposed to be able to feel kind of oppressive and unfair, but it genuinely feels like, like too much, a little too much for me. Um, couldn't be me. He should not do that, in my opinion. Like. The reason why it happens is because the weight of his body can affect his grip and he can like slide down while you are gripped onto the rock. Um, which is, which is the main problem with all of this. Um, now here's, now here's the thing. That obviously can kind of happen in getting over it, but it's more expected because you're not gripping onto something. You're not like holding down a button to grip something and getting over it. And getting over it, again, you're just moving your mouse to grip where you can with, like, a hammer. So it's kind of expected in that game that it will be, like, um, 
like slippery and and not super reliable just just given who you are and the tool you're using to climb at least it doesn't have wetness mechanics yeah not in the same way not in the same way with breath of the wild yeah Slowly getting better and better at that jump, which is nice. Okay, back here. Not too shabby. Like, do you see? Like, I didn't let go of the left button at all. But, like, the most of my failures at this part is because his hand can slide off of the rock while I'm holding onto it. You see what I mean by that? It's a real, um... It's a particularly mean design choice. That I, I, I get why it's there, I get what purpose it serves. I don't personally i mean i know you're not supposed to like it i don't i think it's a little too i don't know maybe a little too over the line for my taste for my taste but also in a way isn't that kind of exactly what i want though okay okay we're back here that did not take very long i don't mind that let's see let's get this guy over here Oh shit! Uh, that went a lot better. Okay. Oh, this feels so much more doable. Hold on. Okay. All right. Interesting. Oh yeah, it's Snow World. Interesting. The, the weird mushrooms? Oh no. Oh, they're there are spots that you can't grip onto. On the rock. Okay. If you slip into the the weird mushrooms, you'll slide off of them. Okay, I see. Not too bad so far, but I assume they're gonna do something pretty painful with it. Oh no! Here, uh... No checkpoint just yet. Here we go. Okay, that's not I don't I don't get this one. It just says go this way. New checkpoint! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes! Okay. Woo! Alright. Let's go. Is this the last level? Is this the last checkpoint? Oh, let's go. Okay, let's make it happen. Okay. Of 
poor guy must be freezing. Yeah, I cannot imagine. I wonder. Ooh, wait a second. Is this a new mechanic? Do we have to do some crazy, like, ice sliding? One moment. Oh, shit. Okay. Hold on. Perhaps... Perhaps ice grip is now a mechanic. We have to keep in mind. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Huh. I'm the thinking thinker right now. You only slide when you move, yeah. That doesn't seem doesn't seem super reliable. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I do see a potential alternate path on the side there. Hold on. Maybe it's literally just a, another one of these. <laughs> Whoa! Hold on, wait, let me try this. It's so nice to be able to just, like, experiment again. Without having to worry about fucking eating it. <laughs> okay, not quite. Okay. Uh. Ooh, boy. I do, I, okay, I'm, st okay. That's not a valid pathway. So I feel like maybe it... Maybe it does have something to do with the ice. Um, okay. I feel like I was getting farther when I was using my cool new jump that I learned. Know if you, I don't think you can scramble up like a creature, no. Oh shit, wait, hold on. You can actually, you can get a little bit, you can get a little bit of height. Wait, 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 wait. Is it time to skitter? Is it time to skitter and scatter? One sec. Okay, uh, it's maybe not working out exactly as I wanted. One sec, one sec, one sec. Oh, man. That is feeling like the most possible strat so far, which is really annoying to me. <laughs> Especially if I use spacebar. Okay, may maybe I am overthinking it. Maybe I just need to get the jump down. Oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Actually, that might be it. That might be it. Maybe it's just another jump. Oh, man. A nightmare. Oh, fuck. Wait. Hold on, hold on. That was, that was, a, that was, a, that was a real plummet. Yeah, that one, that last one was really close. Not, not literally the previous one, but. Oh, shit. We're getting somewhere. Okay. So I think it's something to do with 
So jumping like they teach you in the last section, and then you slide with one hand and then reach out with another or something like that. Ooh, fuck. It's like a real maneuver with my fingers. I can't tell if this is, this is like another situation where there's a very specific way he wants me to do it. Okay, that's, that's very doable. That's extremely doable. Shit! Look at that. Oh, baby. Woo! Just made it. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. no. And now it gets... Now it gets harder. Wait, does it? No, this seems doable. Yeah. Yeah, it's totally. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Wait, what? Is it? Oh no. Huh? What? Is it, is it skitterbug time? Okay. Uh. 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 Um. Part is a little obscure. You could ask for a hint. I straight up might. I don't know if I can deal with. I don't know if I can deal with trying to skitter up this shit. I like, I refuse yeah. to make any brave moves right now. I can't do it. Maybe go down? Literally, I am, I am open to some slight, some slight hints for this section right now, I, I will say. Is that part over there? Grabbable? It doesn't look like it. The next place you go is not up? Is it- is it this part over here? That part isn't grabbable, no. Okay, well then... Maybe we try... Oh, oh no. Ah! Okay, the, the next part you go is not up. Well then, yeah, it might be another leap. Wait, am I hearing water? I am hearing water, but is it new water? I'm literally so scared. Okay, uh, well... No harm in trying. I mean, there is harm, but... I see. I see. Quite literally, I see. There is no fucking way. That is insane. Okay. 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 Fine. Fine. We'll do it. Literally finessed it in one, one try. Look at that. I'm literally so powerful. Listen, if I'm being honest, that's a little rude. I'm extremely glad it wasn't, now you have to go up from there. <laughs> like, I'm actually so happy it wasn't like that. Cause I don't know, I don't know what I would have done. I don't know what I would have done. I would have gone crazy. I would have gone insane. And rumor has it, I'm already both of those. Okay, okay, I see. 
I want. Hold on. Can you like? So wait. <gasps> Did you see that? You can do some side skittering. You can do some side skittering. Okay, okay, okay. I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. It might be time to bring the sensitivity back up. I, so I feel like I can get over there with just a good jump, I'm realizing. But I, I, there is definitely some side skittering involved in the, the super duper trick. I feel like I'm having a hard time now, actually. Like, a harder time. Ooh, yikes. Okay, that's fine. Don't know how I did it so well that one time, but we we take we take those we take what we can get, and then we don't we don't go too crazy about. Whoa, hold on. That was almost pretty cool. Did you see that? I almost could have like lifted myself up, lifted lifted myself up and grabbed that one on the on the top there right away. Yeah. I do hold on, I want to experiment maybe a little bit. What is the best way to do like what's the best side skittering method? Oh, shit. Hold on. Okay, okay. Hmm. I'm I'm playing now. Sorry. That was an intentional. That was an intentional slip up. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the strat down. There's like a so what's really throwing me off is that a lot of these motions require a consistent mouse movement to the side in a way that I think is not properly lining up with what I'm seeing on screen. Cause I feel like when when I want him to like when I want his hands to like jump back and forth like that, I want to do that with my mouse. Do you know what I mean? But in order to keep going in one direction, you have to keep smoothly sliding your mouse in that direction, which s feels more counterintuitive than it sounds. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I hope so. It's like, it's really, it's getting all my wires crossed. Maybe this is when a controller would be easier. Honestly, you're you're maybe not wrong. Maybe that's the real uh, we're beating this today kind of strat. Just do it with a controller. Because there is there is some crazy maneuvers you can do on the ice. Lock in, get the dual sense. I literally might. I have, I have it sitting next to me. I could just really quickly turn it on and see. If only my Fisher Price controller were here, then we could really lock in. But I'll, I'll have to settle for these fucking Sony controllers, I guess. Actually, let's let's try it. Let's try it. Why not?
I'm not expecting a huge immediate improvement. Here we go. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. Okay. I could definitely feel some benefit. Ooh. Oh, it's it's wild. Oh, it's wild. Actually, I don't know. You know what? I don't know if introducing a new kind of muscle memory to have to learn this late into the game is, is the right call here. But wouldn't it be so funny if it was? Wait, okay, so it's potentially related to like holding down because on controller it's the triggers if i hold down a trigger and hold the direction just in one direction smoothly that's not really doing a lot yeah sorry sorry dual sense Maybe, maybe when we get Fisher Price in the ring, but for now, it's not doing it. Not doing it for me. Okay. Oh yeah, we're home. Didn't know how good I had it, honestly. Yeah, it was worth an attempt. How did I? How did I get it so smoothly with a jump earlier? Because I literally just did a jump. Like, yeah. like I've lost the sauce entirely for some reason. I did it like no problem. And I can't repeat it. <laughs> you just use thirty percent of its battery doing that. Hey, when when we get to the Dual Sense V two, we'll be you'll be singing a different tune. Um, no word on when that's actually happening, yeah. though. Because Sony hates me. <laughs> Baby! I think you were on the lower rock when you did the jump earlier. That that maybe makes sense. Hold on. I think I think I'm I'm losing out on distance here. Oh my god, wait, you're right. <laughs> That's so much easier. <laughs> Holy fuck. The immediate improvement. Oh we so overcomplicate things, don't we? Us humans. And our petty quab quab quabbles. Okay. All right. Perhaps. Oh shit! I I straight up I think I am overcomplicating it to an insane degree. On every step of this. I don't think there's any skittering necessary. I think it's still just the jumps. I think it's still just the jumps. We, yeah, we touched it. We grazed it. And that was like primarily with a jump. I think it's actually really not that bad. Hold on. Oops, all jumps. It was jumps the entire time. Oh my god. 
It's been jumps all along. So let me let me get like as as far right as possible. See if I was <laughs> first of all, ouch. If I was holding down both grips, I maybe could have grabbed on there. Cause I think I think his left hand overlapped in that way. It's literally it's jumps. It's literally jumps. It's been jumps the whole time. I've been jumps the whole time. Imagine the game, but there's falling damage. I mean, there kind of is, psychologically. I don't think we need to imagine. Okay, okay. I actually was... I got farther the other times. I wasn't holding both. my bad. Oh boy. I was trying to I was trying to skirt by with the, with the space bar instead of doing things like a real woman and and using my my mouse control like an adult. You can maybe you can climb sideways while sliding. Yeah, well I mean that was the skittering that I mentioned. It, it might be a little necessary. It might be a little tiny bit necessary. It might even just kind of help, but it's very hard to figure out like how to do that without just confusing me. I, I, I do think we need to try and get it just as a jump though. Cause yeah, I do, I do think, I do think it's mainly a jump. We got really close just by jumping. I think it's just, um, my my hands need to be in the right place, which is harder to guarantee yeah. than you would expect. Yeah. What is going on this time? Yeah. Having a little bit of a having a little bit of some troubles. Uh. Yeah, when is the Tifa mod for this game? Genuinely. Close. Uh, okay. I wonder what your Twitter likes are like. I'd feel much worse about it if it were Tiva. I mean, yeah, in a way, but also, wouldn't it be more comforting? Because, like, look at this. Is this not just immediately a better experience? We went over this last time, even. The thing is that Jorge deserves this. What did he do? Oh, right, he crushed all those- he crushed that guy like a bug. Never mind. I remember now. I love you, Tiva. I love you, Tiva. What on earth? That was a weird one. I've never failed on that part before. Getting a little distracted. Getting a little impatient, maybe. Yeah. 
Okay. as much horizontally as we can get. <clears throat> we need as much of it as we can get. Oh, we're so close. Literally, this is so fucking tantalizing. I actually, I have no frame of reference for saying that we're so close. I just know that someone, when we hit the last pool, someone said last checkpoint, which made me very excited. Last stream of this permanently infected my vocabulary with I'll crush you like a bug. Yeah, I've gotten that a lot since that stream. Twitch chat would never lie. Yeah, exactly. If someone said this is the last checkpoint, I'm sure they meant it. Last checkpoint could be good or bad. Yeah, maybe they didn't mean it was the last checkpoint of the game. Maybe they meant it was the last one we would ever see. You never know, I guess. All these crazy implications out there. Maybe like right here is a good sweet spot. Come on, man. That's crazy. You have like no, you have like next to no control how he moves in the air. I can overlap with the rock and still not get it just because like his hands aren't there for whatever reason. Or like he's upside down. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm guessing right now. Okay. Yeah, even, even if I did grip it, there's still a chance he would just let go anyway. Because he does that sometimes. Maybe we ought to try from the very bottom. Oh, come on, man! Ah, oh, that was the best one yet! That was the best one yet if I had an inch to the right! If I had an inch to the right! Ugh. We- that actually, like, was the one. I was a little bit closer. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like it's very doable. No more excuses, only results. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? It's that he hits the rock and that flips him over and it keeps him from, it's the same thing as all the other ones. If he hits the rock, he'll, he'll, he'll spiral out of control and you can't, you can't reach for it. So I do need to do it closer to the bottom because that's how he doesn't hit the rock is you do it near the bottom. If he hits the rock, you're a goner. That's it. That's literally it. Cause the the one that we were really close on was like a clean was like a clean shot. He didn't hit it. 
And I had like full control over him. He was just cleanly reaching towards the right. So we need to be near the bottom where he won't hit the rock, but as far right as possible, basically. So like not over here at the bottom, we need to be like right here. See, he did it again. If he hits the rock, I literally had it right there. If he hits the rock, he doesn't grip. He can't reach it. I literally, I was holding the buttons. He just didn't grip because he hit the rock. That's insane. I love, by the way, Alexa, I love, oh, come on. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, that, that was garbage. That one was rough. I think that's the most, like, that's the most, like, genuinely frustrated I've seen you type and chat about this game. Yeah. Genuinely, it was perfect. It was right there. I know, I know. I'm with you. Except it wasn't perfect. If it was perfect, we would have gotten it. He wouldn't have hit the rock. He wouldn't have hit the rock if it was perfect. That's the problem. We can't, we can't bonk. Bonking is the enemy. Bonking is the enemy. Oh, Jesus. This part, this part is a nightmare. This part is really getting to me. The, the sheer feet of dexterity that they expect from you at this bit, I will say, Nothing, nothing in Benefati even comes close to this. Like this just amount of like, you have to nail it. I feel like nothing comes even remotely close in that game. Maybe that's just my years of experience at this point. Uh, giving me rose-tinted glasses. I don't remember anything making me feel like this, though. Bonk is the climb killer. Yeah, it is the run killer. I do wonder if we're on track to be this today. What is a veil? What is, what is a fall? What is fall but bonk persevering? Wow, that took me a long time to say properly. This would be the get good portion of the game. The get good portion of the game was last section, where you start learning the jump strat. This is the do it perfect portion of the game, which is a little less enjoyable at first, at first run. Because I, because I will say, even, even though the window was very small. For like you know the wheel and everything, I there was still enough leeway that I was able to start getting it down pretty consistently because I just knew the maneuver. Yeah, this is this is get the jump perfect, 
without even being able to see where you're going, which is insane. I mean, I guess, like, you know, there's only so much you can up the ante with a game with this style of climbing without having to go to these lengths. Like, honestly, I feel like it maybe should have just ended maybe, like, four hours ago or something. Okay, yeah, so, um, so what even? Like, like, I, he grazed it! Like, I grabbed it! I was there! What are you talking about? If I go any further right, he's gonna bonk on the rock! Does getting over it have any leaps of faith? Maybe, like... Maybe like a couple? I don't, I genuinely, it's been a while since I got past a certain point in that game. Mostly just for lack of interest, but um, we can check. I don't know. I feel like nothing in that game was even remotely on this level of just like, how the hell do you even expect me to do that? Wonder if you need to s scramble to keep speed lower. Maybe, maybe I do need to grab onto the ice a little more. Also, hi Devon, by the way. Good to see you. Yeah, maybe. Oh my god, I had it! Oh my god, I had it! I had it that time. I was focused on. I was focused on holding down with the left arm. I was not gripping with the right. I could have had it. I'm here to watch you torture yourself for some reason. Honestly, it's mostly been fine. Uh, I actually quite like very large chunks of this game, even even parts that have recently put off many other people. I will say this part is a little this part is a little nasty, though. I will say this one's kind of breaking my spirit ever so slightly, but it will not it will not do so. To the, it will not do so down to the bone. I'm still here. I'm still in it. Been enjoying the day streams while I work. Been lurking hard. That's so great to hear. I'm so happy. Thank you. I'm flattered. I Listen, I've been enjoying them too. It's been a wonderful schedule change for me. Now, if only... So, I think the dream for me is to consistently get to a point where I can wake up at like 6 or 7 and then throw in like 30 to 60 minutes of biking before streaming and then hop on after that. Or well, after a shower after that. Still not there just yet, but that's the, that's the dream. That's the goal. Oh, okay. Biker Penny. Not like, not like biker. No, not like motorbike. Specifically, uh, Peloton. Exercise biking. Why did that happen? Why did I do that? Hey, that was clean. Look at that. Feed yourself some nice trouble. Okay. Let's try again. We actually kind of had it last time. Where were we? About here? <sighs> no, that wasn't the one. I didn't have enough lift. I didn't have enough horizontal motion. 
Man, this is a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> this part is a real. This part's a real. Real bummer. Ah! Oh. That's my bad. I was looking at chat. Okay, my hands need to break. Hold on. Oh, boy. Woo! Okay, sorry. Just had to do one of those one of those daily scream stretches where you stretch and it feels so good you just fucking let out a whoop. Yeah. Holy moly. That was good. That was needed. Hi Tiger, how's it going? My cheeks on these guys are frozen solid together now, yeah. Yeah, well, here's the thing. It still does not even approach the pain that I feel, having to maneuver him around. And this is, this is the honest truth. Why, why, why? Oh, okay. I'm not gonna. Here's the thing. If I keep leaning into it, it's gonna. It's. I'm gonna make it worse on myself mentally by leaning into the small amount of anguish. If I start really like exacerbating it, we gotta like talk about something else. Is what I'm saying. This is just like the the claws, the big the big robot hands in a FF7 remake all over again. I start with like a baseline level of discontent and then uh, I keep thinking about how much I hate it. So by the end of it, it's like so much worse. Ah, okay. That's not it. That's not it. Could talk about Tifa. I mean, what is there to talk about that we haven't already talked about that wouldn't lead to spoilers, you know? Because I don't want to spoil FF7 Rebirth for people in this chat. That's why people. That's why people avoid the FF7 streams if they care. Yeah. Ah. Accidentally sent a package from Thread Up to my old apartment from like three years ago. I've been like emailing the new lease. I gotta wait until like three to drive over. Oh no. I'm so sorry. I hope that goes well. That's that's a bummer. That's a real fucking pain. For a moment though, I thought you said I thought I, I read that as you saying that it would be a three hour drive. And I was like, holy shit. I cannot even imagine. I could I could I could use a, a good road trip right now though, I will say. I would make the drive. Come on, man! Oh my god! It was there! Okay, that's fine. Maybe I do just have to slow myself or something. I don't know, man. The rules are the rules are just being made up. What is Penny's favorite snack as a That's a good question. Um Rip 
ribs. Spare ribs. Fuck. No, uh, honestly, oh man, I really don't know. Actually, probably like string cheese or. Um, like spicy nacho Doritos. Kind of been into that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So I have I have the distance. Oh my god, please! Please! What did I do wrong? What did I do? What did I do wrong? That is that is ridiculous. He opened his arms. But why though? Is really just what I'm begging. Like, why? <laughs> you haven't made enough attempts for the game to let you through yet. Yeah. I honestly, I'd believe it at this point. Okay. This is the one. Not the one. Why did I say that? <laughs> Why did I say that? I know. I, I know every time. And yet... I feel like we honestly... We, we were getting closer when we were employing the skitterbug... Strat. Maybe I'm just... Nostalgic, though. For those, those good old days. If see when I when I thought it was like a little bit of a skitter, I was actually more excited to learn a new strat and like open up new potential in my in my mind and my body to like maneuver the game in a fun new way. Um now that it like seems like it's mostly just a jump that I've been doing for the past like four hours, but a really, really precise one that is kind of a nightmare. It's like, it feels worse. It feels worse that I already have all the tools and I just have to maneuver them in such a specific way. Cause for some reason he just won't grab on, even though I'm holding, I'm holding the buttons. His hand is overlapping the rock. I was right there. I did everything right. I did everything this game has taught me to do. And he just decides, no, I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll hold on to it for some reason. This is what I'm talking about with the grip strength. I feel like that jump is, that jump is difficult enough without, like, not only is that jump, like, not at all communicated, like, you have to... You, the only reason I know that jump is there is because chat, like I asked chat to help me figure it out, right? It is, it's, it's not only a leap of faith, it's not only a really tight leap of faith, but also you can do everything right and reach the super tight window and it will just not work anyway. Like, that's fucked up. <laughs> Climbing here forever in the cold, cold, cold. Slow. Oh, we belong together. I'm in here forever in the cold, cold, cold. Yeah. And the war, it carries on. Your heart, the echo strong. Really with her and flow. I don't actually know the words to that part. Take your time, take it slow. Take a breath, 
and let it go. That made me feel better. Thinking, of, thinking about and singing Family Crest. That's always a, that's always a vibe improver. Maybe maybe it's time for like a musical interlude. Maybe that'll do it. It worked so well the last time. Believe me, I've considered I've considered calling upon pussy power. Don't worry. It's in the back of my mind. It's a possibility. I, I don't know if it's... I don't know if pussy power is like... Also, oh my god, to anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if it's like... The vibe for something that requires this much, like, calculated finesse. Because... In FF7, that's that's more of like a reflex mini game, you know. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Not gonna panic. Not gonna get too crazy. We did it. That's pretty cool. I don't feel too special about it. I just think it's pretty cool. So let's move on. Yeah. Take your time. Take it slow, take a breath and let it go. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, come and go, we belong together. Lying here forever in the cold, cold, cold. I see. All right. Still getting a little. A little saucy with it. I understand. Okay. At least it's not an immediate, like, plummet all the way back down. You're careful, at least. All right. All is where it should be. All is within its place. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Grab. Thank you. Maybe now is where it's time to, like, potentially lower my sensitivity again. Nope. We got it. It's, it's similar to that, uh, that handhold trick that was from a previous section, if you remember. Okay. All is well. All is correct. Nafika is watching me. It's fine. Can overlap a little bit, that's good. Ooh, okay. Oh boy, all right. That's, that was not the one. Okay, I'm very glad I didn't let go. Okay. I don't know if I'm far enough. I feel like I gotta be like over here. It's gonna be kind of a tight window. It's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Cool, not a problem. Gonna pause? Okay. 
Ooh, all right. <clears throat> I'm turning the sensitivity back down. Just a little. I mean, that little bit of extra, little bit of extra nuance. Yeah, there we go. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Hold on. There we go. Okay. This this one is a very this one's a very gentle drop. Don't go too crazy. Not quite. Not quite. That's okay. Did the exact same thing as I did the time it worked, but we're not gonna <laughs> we're not gonna focus on that too much. <laughs> that idea, thank you for the resub, I appreciate it. Also, you're so right. I don't understand why that's not working sometimes. Hey, the game doesn't respond to passive aggression. Feels like a skill issue, honestly. No, no, George. Grab on the rock, not around it. You silly goose. Oh, I thought you wanted me to grab the really slippery ice. No, George, come on. Pretty cool. No sense. Uh, waiting for it to get better. We gotta, we gotta make our own fortune here. Is it because I called him a silly goose? Did he not like that? Does he have bad experiences with geese? With gooses? How's that streamer contentment meter? Um, I mean, it's at rock bottom in terms of like contentment. I'm definitely not content right now. How's the other one? Tier threes only. You know? Okay. Now, how did I do this last time? I kind of like just... Yeah, that one wasn't feeling right. Believe the other meter is the green one. Listen. Colors, I'm telling do I have to go on my whole rant about color theory again? Colors are not specifically meant to represent certain things. It's all about the context in which they are utilized and created. It's all about internal narrative consistency rather than colloquial truth. Okay. 
That's color theory. Um, not not color theory in terms of like a like an artist kind of way. It's more like a like color theory in film and stuff like that. You know, like like you know, blue can mean one thing in in a movie, and it can be like like blue can just as easily be the color of the sky and freedom and 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 all things beautiful as much as it can be like the color of like sadness and and tears and stuff it's all about like how it's used in the narrative Yeah, and here, and it's the here, it's the color of this fucking ice. <laughs> Don't get that one. <laughs> Maybe I'm just like jumping from the wrong spot more often. Yeah. Like, what if like we're around here? But maybe it's just like getting, again, getting that horizontal distance more importantly. Yeah, I think it really is about mostly about the horizontalness of it. Come on, come on, man. Okay. <laughs> Not doing that. Got to get the sequence of buttons correct. Okay. I can just do it like. One day, one day it will be very easy, and I'll look on these times and I'll laugh. But for now, we have this. <laughs> Oh, he thinks he has it so hard. Oh, your oh your oh your ass cheeks are frozen together, and you have hypothermia, and your fingers are bleeding. Well, my wrist is kind of stiff because I've been using my mouse so like thoroughly. So, checkmate. Think about someone else or one George. Whoa. That's right. <clears throat> we could talk about the million reasons why that just happened the way it did, but let's not dwell. You know what they say? Sharks only swim forward, never back. That's from Shark Boy and Lava Girl, which is my in which is the basis of my entire moral compass. Which is also why I believe from the bottom of my heart truly. You're in my class, not the other way around. Hey, look at that. Sorry, I was just eating some spaghetti. Uh. 
Okay. Gonna pause. Handbrake. Does anyone else's nose run when eating spaghetti? Uh, I feel like that's probably the steam that you're dealing with. Steam uh, can clear out your sinuses pretty quickly. I have not played uh, Princess Peach Showtime yet, no. I'm actually, I'm in a bit of a limbo state. I'm in the same limbo state as I was with uh, God of War Ragnarok, the Valhalla mode, where there's a part of me that wants to stream it, but also I basically have no room in the schedule. But I haven't fully decided that I'm going to play it off stream yet. So I'm like, I don't know. At least we're back here, which is not an immediate failure if we're careful. Yeah, I definitely, definitely have been considering Princess Peach for Midnight Snap. Um, I like, I kind of want to ask people, like, if it fits the vibes for that, if there isn't, like, too much, like, bombastic shit that happens. I played the demo, and I was a little bit uncertain about the soundscape, but then I, then again, I did make Red Dead work, so I feel like it's not impossible. Would be an easy way to cover it without having to worry so much about the stream schedule specifically. Because let me tell you, um, I am... Oh boy. Come on, grab. I'm kind of concerned that I've basically decided to try and stream Final Fantasy IX. At least cursorily decided to try and stream that when I'm done with... when I'm done with Rebirth. As if I didn't have enough yep. to get back to. Okay. Oh. Why is that not working? Okay. Come on. No, 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 please, please. <laughs> Begging you. Okay. <laughs> Actually worked out. Still saved it. difference in speed required to grasp versus slide directly off. No way! Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. 
I wonder if this is the final stretch. I doubt it. If I had to guess, there's probably at least one more, like, major uh, hurdle past this. There might be an epilogue too. I've, I've I haven't heard that. That's kind of a crazy idea. ending depending on how many monsters you kill well seeing as how we haven't run into any i think we're doing pretty good on that unless the good ending is killing all of them which honestly seems kind of in, in the spirit of this game being honest this game needs a farewell chapter yeah we were talking about that last time it is kind of a celeste situation where strats that you think are just um, fun little speedrun strats eventually become like fully necessary to beat the DLC level design. Okay. <laughs> the monsters are the green climbing handholds. Oh, we, we've taken out every single one of those. That's good. That's good. Unless it's not good. It's really just like RNG at this point, I feel like. And I, I think I think I'm slowly I think I'm slowly coming around to that. Because, you know, that means it's always possible. What if, um, what if episode one of this stream series on, on, on Snapcube 2 was titled, I love these games, and then I titled episode two, I hate this game. <laughs> Just to really tell the full story of like, you know, normally I'm into this shit, but I really made some choices here. actually hate this game i will say in all seriousness <laughs> environmental storytelling is so funny Yeah, instead of the instead of the emphasis being on love it's on it's on this like i love these games i hate this game hate world oh no 
I don't want to bring about hate world. It's already hard enough keeping love world. Maybe I ought to go closer to the to the bottom like this. So I don't get like enough. Yeah, so I don't get enough ball momentum to lose it. There we go. Okay. Here, let me, um, ooh, why? That was the wrong button to let go of. Here, stop here. I need to take, like, frequent breaks. Ooh, okay. You gonna be the Anakin of Love World? I don't want to be the Anakin of anything. He tried spinning, and can I be honest? It wasn't a cool trick. Hot take. <laughs> I actually haven't seen that. No, wait, that's not true. I was going to say, I haven't seen that movie in so long. That's literally not true. Um, Mar, Joy, and I watched, like, all of the prequel trilogy. Uh, like, near the end of last year, I think? It's not, it's not very good, <laughs> I will be honest. The prequels, the Star Wars prequels and Spider-Man 3 are movies that they they're shaking hands in that there are movies that I both have an immense amount of nostalgia for, but also I vehemently disagree with everyone who tries to rehabilitate those movies image in the modern day because they're not good. Both of those exist in the same in the same breath for me. Where I'm like, wow, I remember that. Look, let's go, by the way. I remember these so fondly. I have so much nostalgia for Spider-Man 3 and the Star Wars prequels. I loved them as a kid. So great. Man, are they bad. Man, are they so bad. I choose poorly? No. Oh my god. Wait, what is this? Stop. Yeah, that's about right. Holy shit, that's a nightmare. Wow, we really thought we really thought all this other stuff was the, the problem point, huh? Back to it actually had so much hope for a second. I like dared to dream. <laughs> to be fair, in hindsight, I could have taken that a lot more carefully. But also, man, you know? Like the picture of the horse and everything. Whoa. 
I do wonder if um, people who play this game a little more proficiently than I, aka speedrunners, uh, do any skittering at that jump. What is this crystal sound I'm hearing? That feels new. Am, am I gonna get uh, am I gonna get like a like a gold leaf? Like from Super Mario 3D Land? That'll complete the game for me? I'll take it. Well, that's new. <laughs> Speedrunners abuse skittering to hell and back. Maybe I ought to get on that. Maybe I ought to get on that grind. I mean, specifically on, on this jump on the ice, but yeah, that, I did kind of communicate that, so I'm, I assume that's what you're talking about. Oh, man. Ugh. The, the pure silence, well, it's not even silence, just the, the relative silence, um, when I'm not talking is really heightening just the, the oppressiveness of this atmosphere on stream right now. Play I Spy. Sure, go for it. Y'all go first. Spy <laughs> something blue. Huh. Is it? Is it, let me think. Hmm. Is it Fisher Price, Laugh and Learn, Baby and Toddler Toy Game and Learn Controller, Pretend Video Game with Music, Lights and Activities? Awesome, let's go. Can't believe me you remembered that and didn't look it up at all. Yeah, I was just pausing to scratch my back. Yeah. 
I will say, um, even if we don't beat this today, which I'm not, I'm, I am expecting to beat this today. I'm still not done. However, if we don't, I do think this is still going to be the last stream of this one. Um, mostly just because I kind of need that to be the case for schedule purposes. I was hoping this would be a one-off. I didn't understand the extent of what I was getting myself into, but... Uh, I can't dedicate more than two streams to this one. Imagine it returning for a finale thon. You might be on to something. I don't know if I have even that much left, though. I guess it wouldn't matter. It'd still be a small segment. You're kinda you're kinda cooking a little bit, though, I will say. I mean, there still is so much unfinished business uh that we could throw into another finale thon. I'm hoping to do another one of those, honestly. Um, I really loved that first one. It was just, and I'm really, I'm still really sad I got cut off so early because we had so much ground to cover. When is finale thon? I don't, I mean, I haven't, I haven't planned another one yet. I just want to do it. I didn't do, uh, I didn't do heart month this year, unfortunately, otherwise that would have been. That would have been the time to do it. I don't necessarily have to wait until next year to do something like that again. It would definitely be a little easier if I had another year to, like, plan for it and, you know, just focus on getting all this other stuff done I want to do this year. But we'll see. Obviously, you know, you will be the first to know. Someone say Finale stares in Noki. Dragon Quest. I straight up, like, I, I am expecting to return to that in, in summer. I will say. Um, I think given all of the other ground I have to cover before I can like safely get back to that one, because because what do I have? So I, I have to finish Rebirth, and then when I finish Rebirth, it's I'm going to be really focused in on playing Persona 3 for most of my stream slots, but I'll throw in uh, Final Fantasy 9 most likely. Um in preparation for Dawn Trail. Um, then when Dawn Trail comes out, that's going to kind of be the game of the the game of the hour for me. I honestly would maybe even try to finish Persona before that just so that I could like focus in on playing Dawn Trail as much as possible and get through that as quickly as possible. Then after that, I think that's basically once I'm done with Dawn Trail. Yeah, I feel like that's that's when Dragon Quest comes back, and we 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 see it through to the end. I am an RPG hell. It's a nightmare. Why did I have to get into RPGs? It's been it's been nice to stream 
most weekdays now, though. That's really kind of, like, helped offset the sheer length of some of these games. But not by much. Not by much. It's still, uh... It's still tough. God, I can't, I can't wait to get back to Dragon Quest, though. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. 2024, at some point. At some point. What do you play in your off time, like, by yourself? Um, I play a lot of FF14. Uh, currently, I'm kind of chipping away at Dragon's Dogma. Not, not making a lot of progress, but, um, I don't know, actually, right now, uh, right now I'm really trying to find that game that is, uh, is good for off-stream that I can just really make my way through, um, because for a while it was yeah. like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, but then I, I beat that, so, um, I gotta find, like, the next thing. I'm pretty sure I, like, have the next thing kind of in mind, but can't remember what it was supposed to be. But, um, yeah, I, I've, I've been installing a lot of games and just kind of, like... I was Dragon's Dogma, I was mildly interested until I saw that you can only have one save file at a time and have to pay money to change your appearance. That second part is not true. Uh, there's been a lot of misinformation just kind of running wild about the Dragon's Dogma situation. I'm not going to outright defend the microtransactions, but I will say people are making it sound a lot worse than it actually is, to the point where it's kind of ridiculous. Um, you can change your appearance at any time just by buying an item in-game with in-game currency. Um, that is a That is not only very cheap, but also available within the first, like, two hours of the game. In fact, like, basically all of the DLC stuff is fully available in-game and also, like... Like, not that hard to get at all. <laughs> like, like, you will be drowning in this stuff if you just play the game. That aside, though, because honestly, I really would, not, would rather not get into that whole conversation past this point. It's been, like, all I've seen on the timeline. It's been really frustrating. Um, the save file thing is not, I mean, it's like a little, it's a little annoying, but it's also not, I mean, like, like Dragon's Dogma, I think what a lot of people are misconstruing from the DLC situation is, is that Dragon's Dogma 2 specifically was designed with a lot of friction that is supposed to encourage you to buy microtransactions, which is really not the point. Dragon's Dogma is supposed to be a game with a shit ton of friction anyway. Um, like, even without the microtransactions, that's just how this game is designed. I will say they are patching in uh, more save files and stuff, though, they said, which is nice. I don't know why it wasn't there at launch, but I, it really is. I mean, it's a friction thing. Dragon's Dogma is, like, designed to be not super handholdy or, like... Honestly, even approachable. It's kind of meant to be a little... A little frustrating. Like, things are supposed to be able to go wrong. But, anyway. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it's been pretty good. I actually quite like it. Uh, like I said, I've been, I've been going pretty slow at it. So I'm not in the full, like... Oh, no. I just pulled myself off. Look at that, though. Um... I'm not in the full, like, gameplay loop of it just yet. I'm still very early. I haven't really been, like, playing a ton. Mostly just because I've been doing other stuff. Honestly, it's been, like, streaming and then, like, sleeping. <laughs> it has been a lot of my life this past week or so. Um, but yeah, other games. Uh, I started also kind of chipping away at Gravity Rush Remastered. Because I really want to play Gravity Rush 2, but I feel like I owe it to that game to play the first one. But I I will say it's definitely... You can definitely tell it's a PS Vita game. Unlike 2, which is, you know, full-fat PS4 
goodness. Um, I also turned on Alan Wake again, Alan Wake Remastered, because I really want to play Alan Wake 2, but I'm not going to play it without having played the first one. So I started that up again. Again, not super far in that. I'm in that, I'm in that in-between state. This, like, in-between adhd ass state where I'm, like, trying to find the game that scratches the itch, you know? Outside of stream. And it's been, it's been a bit of a struggle. I say, God, it's so dark outside today. I feel like it's nighttime. It's 3 p.m. It's raining, though, so that makes sense. Apparently they're working on a Gravity Rush movie. Yeah, I saw that. It was weird. They, like, didn't announce it. They just showed footage from it in, like, a super weird way, right? And also, like, it looks weird, too. Like, it's not the same main character design. Pretty sure they made her white, <laughs> I think. I could be misremembering. Don't take my word as gospel on that. It was weird, though. Also, that was really scary. Holy shit. I haven't seen it, only heard about it. Yeah, I, I, I saw the clip. It was weird. The footage is just early tech demo stuff, essentially. Okay, that's promising. I would, I would be down for a Gravity Rush movie if they wanted to go that route. I would just hope it's, you know, accurate. Ooh, hold on. Okay. Quality best. So At least you can save yourself pretty quickly from having to redo that shitty jump at this part. As long as you're careful about it. It's usually some way to maneuver. Wow, I, I gotta be honest, <laughs> I uh, I stopped having fun a while ago. <laughs> this is this is a nightmare. I'm like tired. Yeah, this is like full I like I'm doing this this is now out of obligation. better we're getting more proficient for sure without a doubt i don't understand i don't why is that not working there you go again <laughs> oh boy mouse sensitivity goes back up i don't even care If I can use more more skittering myself. Yeah. 
Okay. Kind of nailed that. Love to see it. This is, in fact, the final stretch of the game. Thank you so much for telling me that, genuinely. Th that gives me a lot of hope. Okay. I feel like I can do it. Ooh, may maybe the sensitivity is too high. Maybe that's really not good for this. There we go. Yeah, okay. We're back. There we go. Okay. We're making it. We can do this part. This part is so doable. St extremely doable. Okay. Where did I jump from it last time? Like right here, I want to say? really need to get like a like a good leap here oh shit okay not quite that's fine it's fine Do I go for height or distance? That's the real, uh, the real question. <laughs> no! Shit! I almost, I almost saved that. Oh boy. Okay. I actually, I actually scurried too much. That's what went wrong there. Went a little overboard with the scurrying out of out of fear. It's fine. Yeah. Actually, extremely pleased with the consistency we're able to pull that off right now. That was twice in a row on the first attempt. <laughs> oh, that was da that's dangerous. What is happening? Thank you. Okay. Oh shit. I like looked away for a second and forgot which hand was grasped on. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. Don't worry. Oh, that's fine.
Uh, I really got me like so close. So close. I just I gotta lock in. Let me let me hold on. Let me relax. I've been in like a like totally not relaxed position for way too long. Let me just let me just let me just vibe. It's okay. Feel that one. That grip was a deceiver. We did not put up with it. I think I have a general idea of like the way to go for that. Yeah. Just gotta do it with enough speed on the horizontal. Okay. Oh, not quite, not quite. That's okay. Let's go back here. That's fine. And take that. That jump is still a real problem point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that grip was the deceiver. <laughs> I shouldn't have listened. That's fine. This is why God gives second chances. Could have ended really badly, but again. Yeah. Second chances. Yeah. 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 That was a violent. That was a violent one. Lost a lot of grip there. Thankfully, we were all set. We knew what we were doing. Not here. With finesse. I'm like losing the um I'm losing the jump strat when I get to that part and I don't know why. Like I'm losing the motion. The muscle memory kind of disappears.
Maybe it's not the jump strap. You're losing your speed. You're losing your flow. But inside me is the power that you'll never know. There are actually a surprising amount of ways to save yourself here. We never give up for a reason. That's not, that's the deceiver. <laughs> Fast. That's okay. We take those. We take those hits. Ooh. That was a very dangerous maneuver I just did. It was an accident. I assure you I'm not that reckless right now. got caught by the deceiver, yeah. but thankfully we know where we stand. Or, yeah. well, where we grip. Okay. All in its place. All in its place. All in its place. Okay. Now the question is how the fuck... Okay. This isn't even, like, the hard part is the thing. Maybe a little more mouse sensitivity. Honestly, maybe even a little... Maybe a little less, but I'll try this one. I don't know. See, it's like it's 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 very tough. I don't know what it is about that jump. I just can't like I can't get the distance I need anymore for some reason. go with a bit more height. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, that's a problem. The scurrying did fail us on this day, but don't worry. We should not be defined by our failures. We should use them as teaching tools. 
A surprise tool to help us later. We know we can rely on scampering. It's done us so well, so many times. Just a matter of waiting for the stars to align. See what I mean? Yeah. My sensitivity is too high. Let's just like, let's get crazy with it. Let's go like, let's go low with it. Let's see where that'll get us. Honestly. I'm ready to try new things. <laughs> well, not. Not our best showcase so far, but that's fine. running into some trouble with the low mouse sensitivity but we can we can get used to it nearly 500 people still watching. Thank you so much for all of your support. I mean that. Fine. Getting back into relaxation mode. I'm not watching. I have my eyes closed. Uh, then why isn't the no video badge on your chat username, huh? Are you the lying liar? Yeah. Lami, well, thank you so much for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Or Darn Jerky, thank you for gifting a sub to Valami. Yeah. Why did that happen? Okay. <laughs> Over a skitter. <laughs> I gotta get back to my jumping roots. I gotta get back to my roots. I gotta figure out how to jump again. I've lost- I've lost the path. It's actually crazy that that jump is now, like, the easy part for me. Yeah. 
That was the deceiver. Our hero. The deceiver. Pretty decent jump. We can keep that energy. Oh man, that's fine. Yeah, I didn't have the momentum on that one. Getting a little too reckless. crazy that we could have made that maybe if I had expected it maybe you know what maybe I'm putting too much swing into my jumps and that's why it's kind of throwing me off maybe I need to maybe I need to swing less jump more that was the lesson we learned last time right swing less Jump more. Well, we do need a little bit of swing momentum. Just maybe less of it. winning kind of a little mostly i mean we're kind of we we hit a problem point but honestly i think the the key thing to realize is that winning is not getting it on the first try winning is not quitting when the going gets tough and have we quit no in fact Receiver. The truther. The deceiver. That was that was closer. That was closer. Feel good about that? I think I'm going for more distance this time. Not height. 
Felt like that was the deceiver. Was gonna trust that one. Okay. Go like right here again. Not gonna over skitter. Okay. It's fine. That jump is kind of a nightmare. We're not gonna let it deceive us into thinking we can't do it. We fight against the deceiver. Honest Tom's discount beef. Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. Maybe I'm skittering too early on that jump. Maybe I'm kind of ruining myself. scrambler <laughs> it's, it's, we have one joke at this point can i be honest this might be um it might be time to reference a speedrun or something. Yeah. Oh? Or not. One sec. Let me try it a couple more times. The speedrun does something crazy. Oh no. The deceiver, the deceiver. fucking go just had to get that power behind it the deceiver yeah the deceiver <laughs> sorry i don't know why this has become the bit oh Yeah. 
Don't be deceived. Do not be deceived. We hit the left side. I'm actually starting to wonder if the left side is the deceiver. I wonder. All right. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. supposed to do that deceiver no the truther is it just another jump so that is a crazy that's a jumping on the swing like that is like insane to do it's like really difficult And you can't climb the right side because, like, this gap over here, there's, like, nothing. There's, like, nothing to reach with. So. Yeah. You can't swing too many times because of the momentum. Yeah, I guess so. Get momentum with both hands and then let go of one to jump. I don't know. I don't know about that. That's the deceiver, I think. I think I think we have to do less than we think. Stop. Go. What are you doing? Okay. That was weird. I wish there was a way I could just, like, fl 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 fling myself. I could. You know what? I could maybe climb up the right side to get up here. I think that left, yeah, that left path is like a challenge path that I keep taking willingly for some reason. Yeah. It's like a shortcut, but it's so much more precarious. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I 
I really don't understand. Can you wave dash? Cause like there's no there's nowhere to skitter in the same way as I've been skittering. I think I have to consult a run for this one. Let me see. We could go full monkey mode. That would be potentially a way to do it. Hold on. Difficult to give that climbing speed run. Thank you. All right. Let's look at the same one we did last time from Distortion 2. Let's look at this one. Okay. What? Whoa! Huh? Oh, that one's funky. But if we can make it to that rock, we can climb right up? No way. Oh, that's cool. Okay, well, we know that for... God forbid next time, but, you know. Hold on here. Okay. No! <gasps> Stop that. They do it. Okay, they do it in a way that is not happening anytime soon. What? I'm not trying that. How about difficult game about climbing full game? <laughs> that that method is the the true deceiver. Full game walkthrough guide. By I free M Z. Let's see. Okay, this person seems to be doing it somewhat normally. Okay, what do you do here? Do you monkey it? Oh, okay. So I so I'm 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 not supposed to jump in the way that I'm trying to jump, I think. It really is just like just let it fling you. And man, that's dangerous. Okay. Well, we made it across. It's just, um, we didn't get grip. So if we can do that and have the grip to go with it, we'll be in business. I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. <laughs> yeah. It's a very particular skitter, yeah. Uh. 
Gently grab the ice like twice while doing it. Yeah, they're not as they're not as skittery as I am. The way I'm doing it is stopping my momentum. Peak. Glad you came. Where's the... huh? Wait, can I- can I reach that from here? Don't- I don't get it. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, I think... Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. <laughs> now what? <laughs> Alex BC Dev, thank you so much for the gifted subs. A little more. Glad you came. Okay. We're climbing the clouds. Pretty cool. Fine. Fine. There's a there's a very big rock safety net. Oh my god, Jordan Clock! Thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Holy shit. Thank you. You did not have to do that. I really appreciate that. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Not over yet. That was the deceiver. Oh, you know what? I don't even have to do I don't even have to do the the, the jump. Just do that. It'll just put me right there if I swing enough. Oh god, the big, easy, puffy clouds are such a sight for sore eyes right now. I'll go into this. This is the Truman Show. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 
actually really sick. Oh, you can't deceive me, deceiver. I know what you're all about. I can climb on the credits, can't I? <laughs> That's right. Thank you to Bennett Foddy for inspiring the game. My endless supportive wife, Vivian. That's so cute. Without whom this game would not exist. Thank you for your suffering. Remember, to live is to suffer. To survive is to find some meaning in the suffering. The end. I got a cool crown. <gasps> No. Whoa! Does it start at the beginning? True ending. <laughs> True ending? Yes! Oh, that's so cool. That's extremely sick. We're done. Nearly six hours, but not quite. <laughs> you saved the monsters. You can now play as Luigi. Oh, man. <sighs> Current time, personal best clears one. And in, cer in certain ways, that's one too many. <laughs> but at least we can say we did it. I unlocked all the achievements, too. Th that's it. That was two achievements. Climb all the way up to the peak and then find the hidden true ending. Oh, chat. Chat room. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I I'm so tired. <laughs> so exhausted that really that listen that one tested me that one really tested me yeah now i have to now i never have to do this one again i feel like i kind of want a little bit of a palate cleanser Finally, an easy fucking game. There's no feeling more intense than starting over. This game's so quiet. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have. Oh, it's because I have it turned down in Windows because of the jump scare. That's right. If you want some money at the casino. Put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you won an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just Shit. returned to the original. When? Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. All right. Thanks for coming with me on this trip. You're welcome, Mr. Afadi. You have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazzwell, a mysterious. I fucking love this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Hold on. Games a rough 
assemblages. Oh, this part. This part's a little. This part can be a little tricky, but you know how to finesse it. They're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. Here we go. Oh shit! Hold on. Almost had it. Gotta like lift off the rock and then. Ooh, buddy. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled. That's okay. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. My mouse sensitivity for this one is really high. Maybe I could go with some, some lower. in the digital world or in real life has certain. A lower setting. Why is it so high? Hold on. Let's do that. <clears throat> no amount of forward progress is guaranteed. The hips are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly... <laughs> the, uh, the secret to enjoying, I think, getting over it with Bennett Foddy is having so much fun swinging and yipping and whooping around, you know? If you're trying so hard to just, like, finesse it at every second, it's going to suck. You got to kind of, like... You got to have a little whimsy with it. And there's a sense of truth in it's it's way. it's really the confidence that goes a long way i think in video game worlds are fake you can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you hey, look at the that. correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time in that sense every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real the obstacles in sexy hiking are unyielding and that makes the game uniquely fun. here we go but i'm not sure yeah it was definitely that sensitivity was too high Frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the oh, I had it. of building a game about it. Sexy hiking stream win. I've never... I, I think I tried to play sexy hiking not long after this game came out, and I know it wasn't going to, but it, installing it felt like I was going to give myself a virus. bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault. It's just like a random, like, EXE sitting out there, you know? I think. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. When you're building a video game world, you're going with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape. That can you did install a font that was an EXE file? That was so long ago, okay? That was a that was a lot longer ago than my attempt at sexy hiking. now people have been predicting that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects bought in a store and assembled into a world and for the most part that hasn't happened because the objects in the stores are trash i don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made although a lot of them are i mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as you put it in the sink things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context and once the moment is gone they transform into garbage in the context of technology, those moments pass by in seconds. Many <laughs> don't install porn. Hee hee hee. If you don't get that joke, watch the, uh, yesterday's Persona 3 stream. ...that we call the internet. It now vastly outnumbers and outweighs the things that are fresh and untainted and unused. When everything around Whoop. us is cultural trash... When reverse, trash becomes the new it's okay. Media, ...the lingua franca of the video. Oh, okay. And you can build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games... B movies, B music, B philosophy. Maybe this is what digital culture is. A monstrous mountain of trash, the ash heap of creativity's fountain. A landfill with everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. Guys, no, listen, that orange is the deceiver. Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, green screen Shia LaBeouf, banned stuff scenes on Live League. Facebook's got okay. lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift Matt. One sec. While he's on his little thing. <laughs> Volume. Mixer, here we go. We mute the game. <laughs> On a system level, let me mute the game. There's the jump scare incoming. Oh boy, well, allegedly incoming. One sec.
The little thumbs up in the wall is great. Ooh. Yeah, see? Here we go. No! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, we'll end it there. I didn't even get got by the jump scare. It was it was a little it was just a little mouse twitch. That was so funny. Wait, wait. Oh, uh, it's yeah, it's still that same bit still got me for an entirely different reason. I literally just twitched my hand. That's so funny. Sorry, now I'm playing Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy, and now I'm like, wow, hee hee, yippee, fun. Woo! <laughs> you can't be so scared of the chaos, is really the important part of this game, I think. You gotta kind of exist within it. Let it mold you just as you are molded by it. That, by the way, I just said the same thing twice. I think I meant to say something else, but for some reason I said, let it mold you just as you are molded by it, which is really funny. System muted. Yeah, Penny. Listen, I'm not talking about the jump scare. I've already gone on record saying the jump scare is the one part of this game I wish I could throw into the void. It's like the grip strength problem in in difficult game about climbing, these all have some little feature that I feel like goes slightly over the line. But that's okay. We take them as we take them as they are anyway. Whoop. Nope. That's okay. Back to the beginning. Cool. That's a good place to stop. Streamheads and vodheads, thank you so much for joining me for both a uh, difficult game about climbing, aka end climber, as well as um just that brief little interlude palette cleanser. Gotta say, that really was a palette cleanser. I love that game. I'm I'm telling you the 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 single just the mouse controlling your entire interaction with that game rather than having to like take into account like four to six separate buttons and everything um it really makes it a lot more approachable for me but you know that's i i i, I don't mean to end this this stream by the way with like a direct example of why uh difficult gaming about climbing is inferior in my opinion um cuz i honestly overall in spite of the stress in spite of the the issues I had near the end. Uh, I am very glad I played through Difficult Game About Climbing. It satisfied my desire for more of these games more often. So, uh, hey, I'll be around for the next one, whenever that may be. Um, this was fun. Thank you, chat. Vodheads, I'm going to leave you here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying this uh, experience with me. I'll see you soon.